Hey folks, Marty up north. Um, just want to do a quick review on a product today, but before I start in that, I've had the, you know, I've 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 bought lots of things on the internet, uh, and and nowadays China's become a powerhouse and they're manufacturing a lot of things. And I've and I've been experimenting buying things on the internet. And and here's kind of my conclusion right now: a lot of things that you're buying on the uh, that are brand name, it, it could be backpacks, it could be tents, and you're buying brand name stuff but it's made in China. So why not source exactly from uh, the manufacturers in China and skip the brand name in some cases? It, the, the stuff is as good. So here, here's my opinion. I've bought things like Paracord. I mean, this is, this is a, a fifth of the price of what I buy here in North America, in, at home. I've bought things like pouches, you know, man, goods that are, that are sewn, that are, that are, you know, that are labor intensive. And, and they're good quality. I mean, the, a pouch like this cost me three bucks on the internet with a little bit of delivery, cost me five dollars. I buy the same pouch in Canada for, for twenty dollars, so it's ridiculous to do that. I bought things, I, I do a lot of shooting, so these are magazines. Sure, there some people will claim that it's a knockoff, but the reality is, um, you know, the originals are designed here but made in, in, in China, anyways, or in. in other places so they're just as good other examples things like carabiners I bought carabiners online I have bought pouches for for magazines I mean everything is is made somewhere else so so you know this is just an example so lately a company called Lightstream has sent me an email and asked me if I wanted to review something so they gave me a choices of a uh, few items so this is the item it just got delivered and I want to show what I'm reviewing today so it's throw this on the ground it's a backpack, and um, I haven't I haven't uh, opened the bag yet. So let's go see. So actually, just immediately, I can tell you it looks pretty awesome. It you know if I put this on the uh, anywhere on on this place somewhere, you wouldn't know where you know where it's made or how much this is worth and I'll tell you if you go look at this on the internet the price of these things including shipping is half price of, of some really popular North American brand so this is uh, I can't even pronounce the brand but it's a it's a 42 liter pack so I will uh, I will give it an honest review we're gonna load it up in the, uh, this weekend and we're gonna go do uh, I mean for me 42 liters is something that I would use you know, as a day pack or as a snowmobiling pack. So we'll go do a day hike. We'll go hike up in the mountains here as a family tomorrow and we'll load this up and give it an honest review and tell you what we think of uh, this pack. But I can tell you from, uh, from first impressions, it looks just fine. And actually I realize as I'm talking that I'm gonna get criticisms because I've actually had criticisms before. Uh, I've had people argue with me how, you know, you're not supporting Canadian, you're not supporting American, whatever. We live in a global economy and you have to sell what you're good at. So I work in the oil industry and I'll argue that, you know, I'm, I work, I live in a resource rich country. So I sell oil, I sell lumber, I sell metal. Other nations are their resources as people and they sell different items. So we need to trade with each other. So I have no guilt about that. And I'm also a consumer. So for me as a consumer, I want to buy what's cost effective. And some people will argue that the research is being done here and it's copied somewhere else. I'm not here to talk about the morality of the whole thing. I'm talking about the reality. And the reality is I can source items, specific items. So like I said, items that are labor intensive, things that require a lot of sewing, sewing, stitching, and that are kind of low tech. So I've had success. I'm telling you personally that I've had success with items like I described, rope and backpacks and pouches. I have had some uh, failures. So I have sourced out things like memory chips for cameras. I learned the hard way that if you buy a cheap memory stick that's been knocked a uh, knockoff, you're probably going to regret that. I've also learned the hard way that certain things like uh, flashlights are, are, are not worth it. But then again, I've bought LED lights over there. So I'm not here to discuss the morality. I'm just here to say that as a consumer who has a limited budget, sometimes I just need to source items that are a little more cost effective. And I think I'm, I, I want to advise people. I haven't started the review on this, but I would say do not write these things off. Some of these items are very, very, very cost effective and actually very, very well made. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to go uh, with the family. Well, the family, my wife and Nick and I, we're just going to go down into one of the areas where I hunt. So we're going to hike into uh, 
uh, pickle jar lakes. But uh, so so the pack is actually uh, you know it's, it's not what I would call a hiking pack. It's just a, a day pack. So it's perfect for a, a day hike. It's got it's got the features that you expect from 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 uh, any similar pack. It's got pockets. Uh, it's got little compartments here for you know your wallet things like that. Um, it's got it's got a, a main compartment that's quite big, and then it's got smaller compartments. So it's a very 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 typical backpack. So I'm just going to load it with a couple of things today. So here's what I take for a day hike uh, when you go in the mountains. Um, never know it can turn cold, so I'm going to put a fleece in the bottom of the pack. So that fits easily and a pair of gloves for for whatever and then I always travel with a first aid kit so here's a, my, my small first aid kit which you guys have seen in other videos so bandages and moleskin and things like that I'm gonna throw in some toilet paper and then uh, not a lot of water where we're going so we're gonna bring I'm gonna bring a water bottle which fits uh, nicely on this uh, side pouch here. So I got one water bottle on a side pouch, and then I'm going to put the bear spray on the other side. The um, the berry crop, I guess, this year is is exceptional. So lots of uh, bear activity, and then uh, I always uh, attach my pat my uh, bear spray with a carabiner somehow, so I don't lose it. We are bringing water, but I'm going to bring a water filter because we're going to three lakes, four lakes actually. And then um, there's these uh, on on the hip belt. There's a little place for uh, loose items, so I'm going to put a pocket knife in there. I carry, of course, in my pockets at all times my lighter. And then in the smaller front pocket, I call it the front. I'm gonna put a couple of granola bars and some drink crystals and the map of the area that we're going into. So there you have it. So, and then I'll give it a little bit of adjustment. And then uh, before I get on the trail, I'll, I'll figure out how to actually, as is, here, all done, comfortable, ready for a little afternoon hiking adventure. So I've got the new backpack on and we'll go for a little hike, see how things work out. Holy cow, on top of the world, totally amazing. Back just fine, we're all the way to the summit. So it's actually quite comfortable and uh, Nothing's damaged on it. Actually, the stitching, everything you can see on it, it's all good quality. Like I said, it's, the factories that make this stuff are the same factories that make stuff for Mount Hardware and North Face and companies like that. So it's good all stuff. Right, so there you have it. So uh, yesterday did a great hike. Actually, uh, don't forget to watch that video. It's uh, uh, my wife, my son, and I. We went to. Uh, the Black Rock, just uh, northeast or northwest of Cochrane. Anyway, so I took this pack and it worked out great. So I had no issues with the pack. It's actually, it, uh, it, I just put a few more things in it just to show it's it's actually a comfortable pack. Um, it's very well made and it has it has the features that you want in a pack. In fact, one of the things that, uh, that often I don't like on uh, some packs is, is, is the buckles. And these buckles, like if you pull on them, they don't loosen easily. So uh, once I adjusted the buckles, they stayed in, in the way I wanted them. So they don't, they don't loosen easily. Same with the belt. Once I adjusted the belt, uh, the, the buckles that come with it are, are quite good. It's comfortable. The shoulder, the, the shoulder straps are okay. The back is all good. It's got this handle when you wanna you know, hang it up afterwards. And then it's got a bigger handle for carrying. One of the things I like now, actually, this is this bag. I'll I'll either give it to one of my sons. Uh, uh, it's either going to become a school bag, or I might just keep it. I like to have multiples of everything. You know, I got I got uh, 
uh, a hunting bag, I have a backpacking bag, I have a snowmobiling bag, and now I will have a little day pack. Because right now, every time I go on day hikes, I was always taking out uh, stuff from the other bag. So, and, and I'll just go through the features again. So the, the pack um, it has a small, or has a bottom compartment. Actually, for the bottom compartment, you I, I put a sleeping bag in there right now. In fact, you could do, I've, you know, a lot of the minimalists that I talk or that, that uh, make comments on my video, you could actually go on an overnight hike with a bag like this, just an overnight. You know, you bring your, your tent in there or your, uh, your sleeping bag and maybe a hammock. So if you're not bringing a lot, um, this, this will, this will hold quite a bit of volume. I'm still not sure how they came up with a 42 liters for me to test a 42 liters. I'd have to get. Uh, the way they test the volume of backpacks usually is they get something like ping pong balls and they'll fill like uh, uh, something very known like a square box that's 40 that's 40 liters or, or 50 liters and they'll fill it up with ping pong balls and then they'll take that same volume and put it in the pack and if it matches then they'll call that pack 50 liters otherwise it's hard but so it has it has this 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 side compartment here that had you know that easily holds a sleeping bag and then, uh, and actually the, the zippers are good. I was worried about the zipper. That's another thing that can go on, on cheaper things. And the zippers are quite good. Then, then all these compression straps are important when you're packing, when you're hiking, because you want everything as tight as possible. It has a front compartment, a small compartment, you know, with uh, items that you want to reach quickly. It's got a, an organizer for pens and things. So I got that. Then it has, Another com separate compartment, you know, you can put a book in there, uh, other items, maybe your, your snacks for the day. And then it has uh, the main compartment, which is quite large. So in the main compartment, I got a whole bunch of items in there. And then within the main compartment, there's something, you know, there's a, there's a, a pouch in there and then another pouch where you can put your keys or your wallet. So, and, and then it has side compression straps, so you can, because once you've got your load, especially if you're going up and down a hill, you want it all tight so it's not jiggling around. Got the side pouches, I use one for the bear spray, one for water. Um, you got a, 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 a hoop here for something, I don't know, you can hang your GPS on there or, uh, or, other other items so anyway so overall i'm happy with the pack i say it's good value and uh like i said don't be shy about going online and ordering things that are made in china it's all about trade so we buy from them and they buy from us so that's how the world works so uh there's there you go it's the review of a of a small day pack